Good day everyone, this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. Today we're taking a look at Tiffin FX and FX Ultra for iPad, which allows you to do photo editing in the palm of your hand. It has so much included in it, there is no way unless I take all day to show you everything that this photo app can do. But what we're going to do is just quickly walk you through an overview of the application and you're going to find the same in an iPhone app that they offer. I brought in using the file folder uh, photo from the iPad photo app and as you can see it's right here full screen well, and we have a ton of different options available to us to do. If we go into here, you'll see that even touching one option gives you unlimited because you have sliders on top of filters. And touching the lightning bolt will take you back to the original at any time. And again, just changing a tap is going to, you can change it to an infinite amount of filters and options. We go on to diffusion. You can see that we can play with that. Always can toggle back and forth. I'll take you right back. We go on to gradients and tints. We can have a lot of fun. You can make them as intense as you want. You can change the brightness, the contrast. As you can see, every single filter gives you a number of options. Some a few, some a lot. Moving on to image, you see that you also have the ability to actually color in use a histogram moving on to lens close up depth of field we have vignettes there's four of those and within those you can change the softness and the amount of vignette that you get light. Not only can you put diffusers on it, you can also add ice halos. You can put in all sorts of effects with light overlays. And again, there's sliders that give you unlimited possibilities. Photographic, you have color compensating and conversion, balancing, and in special effects you can do everything from making it into a pencil drawing, of course it's better if you have something that's more defined, but you can change it within here and you can make it like partial. I kind of partial to the antique look in the black and white. If you prefer you can do straight black and white and again you can change it, the hue and the saturation, however you'd like. Once you have everything the way you want it, you do notice up on top too, there's your standard things like cropping, etc. Once you're all done, you can add layers. You can save it to your iPad or your iPhone photo app. You can add layers upon layers. You can share it 
number of ways email facebook you can copy it so you can put it into another app you have Flickr, tumblr twitter there's just so much you can do with the tiffin fx and fx ultra that we can't touch on them all here we invite you to join us on the website for our full review i'll join you on that website where i'll sync with you soon